Is Call of Duty saved? I'll be completely honest with you guys. I do believe Call of Duty is saved with the downfall of Activision. And for the people that haven't known and have been living under a rock slash not watching the news, Activision slash Blizzard Games was recently just bought out by Microsoft, which they'll be going in effect starting June of 2023. Now you might ask, how is this a good idea going forward with Microsoft's hand? I think this is a good idea because Activision slash Blizzard Games has to physically listen to Microsoft moving forward with what they want for the games that Blizzard Games slash Activision had control of. The thing is... Activision and Blizzard Games have had an issue going on for a recent while with the lawsuit and how they treat their employees. If you guys have been watching the news, you know specifically how Activision slash Blizzard Games has been treating their employees rudely, sexually abusing them, and sexually harassing them. We... As a COD fan and COD community, all we've been wanting for the past few years now is just a good game. Now that Microsoft is in control of the COD franchise and other franchises that Activision slash Blizzard Games has controlled over the many years can hopefully go back to the way it used to be where we used to have it good back in the glory days. Now you may ask also, how can Activision slash Blizzard Games get better at this? I honestly think from them not being in control anymore, they have to listen to Microsoft. And the fact is, Microsoft can hopefully change them to be a better company like they used to be when Black Ops 2 was a great game. For the people that remember Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2 was nearly almost to a masterpiece. Then after, once Ghost came out, that's when the downfall of Call of Duty was. Now you might ask, how is this good for PlayStation's end? PlayStation will still go as effective to the way that we've had playing Call of Duty over the years between four Activision slash Blizzard games. Blizzard games slash Activision will still have to follow what Microsoft wants and the guidelines on how they want their Call of Duties and other games that were owned by Activision slash Blizzard games. Now how I believe this will go is don't get me wrong, we all, as COD fans, we've known over the years that exclusivity has been a big part of the Call of Duty. Now, I believe what will happen is, yes, Microsoft will nitpick and say that they will do some exclusivity for Xbox slash PC fans only. Start in the beginning. It might only last for a week for exclusivity. But from... What has been said by the CEO of Microsoft? Now, Bloomberg has said there will be some changes going forward for Microsoft leading for Xbox slash PlayStation, but they're intentionally trying to keep everything the same as has been going on so that way sales have been staying as good as recently. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand from the recently three Call of Duties that have been out. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Call of Duty Vanguard. Sales haven't been the greatest, but they still have been able to hold Call of Duty as the number one selling game of the year. Now, you might also be wondering, it's not like everyone can go out and just buy an Xbox Series S or X. There's a thing with Xbox on how they have to do this correctly if they want to make sure that Call of Duty goes to be good this coming years going with the purchase of Activision slash Blizzard games. Now one problem I'd have to say 
that the Call of Duty fan base and community as a whole have been dealing with over the years and has been with the problem is with Activision slash Blizzard games. Activision just has not been listening to their fan base anymore. It seems like they don't do not care anymore. They just want the money and over the years that's all they care about. Before they used to listen to their fan base between from when Black Ops 2 and the previous games were out before that. They cared about their fan base. But recently when Ghost came out, which was back in 2014, which it may seem forever now, it's already been a few years. I just feel like they don't care about their fan base anymore. And you might also be asking me, Gunner, it's not the developers that don't care about their fan base anymore. It's Activision. Yes, Activision has been pushing stuff on Treyarch slash Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games, which is a side company that helps Activision and Treyarch and Infinity Ward. They help them aim for Raven Studios. They've been helping, but the thing is, they just don't care. Activision doesn't care. The companies are getting forced on to make the stuff that they don't want to implement in the game. Which, yes, they've been going on strikes recently, and that's why a lot of the community is, has been upset with the Call of Duty franchise, because a lot of the people ju are just going on strikes now because they've been losing their jobs because of sexual harassment that's been going on with Call of Duty. And it's just been going on to the point now where no one wants to work for Activision because they're in a lawsuit now that has been going on for over a few months now that's been just bad. So their real reason was to only be bought out by Microsoft, I guess, to get out of this lawsuit that they know that they were not going to win. But that'll wrap up the video guys for today. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the post notifications to stay alerted. But just let me know guys what you guys think of the video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be talking about more about with Activision and Blizzard games and what Microsoft is going to be doing over the following months. Well, I'll keep you updated. But at the same time, we, I'll be also posting videos on the channel relating to other stuff. I hope everyone has a great day. Stay safe, guys. And I'll see you on the flip side. See you guys.